Hi everyone. So I thought um, we'd work out a few sample problems from chapter 12. I just picked a few of the odd number problems from page 228 of the text and we will uh, we'll take a look at them. So here's the first one. Uh, I think it's problem three. And uh, the problem says that there are four different functions from the two element set AB to the two element set 0, 1, and we're supposed to list them. Uh, but before diving into that, I thought it would be interesting first to ask about relations. Remember that a function is a special kind of relation. So a relation on the pair, on the subsets AB cross 0, 1 is just any subset of this Cartesian product. So it's a subset R of the set which has four elements, A0, a1, B0, and B1. And how many subsets are there of such a set with four elements? Well, we know that the power set of this set has 16 elements. So the num since a relation can be any, any subset of this set, there are 16 relations. So only a few of those relations are actually functions. What is the additional condition that has to happen if we're going to have a function? Well, remember the rule if we draw a picture. Here's a picture. Here's A, B, and here's 0, 1. The condition that makes a relation into a function is that for every a in the domain, there's exactly one b in the codomain so that the ordered pair a, b is in the function. And what that means in practice is that we, for each of these two elements, we must make a choice of where they're going to go over this, over on this side, uh, over on this side. So for every for every element here in the domain, we have to make a choice of where in the codomain we're going to send it. So for example, I mean, we could send A to 0, and we could send B to 1. This is one example function. But if we want to think about this in the language of some of the counting problems that we worked at before, we could make the following, we have basically, we must send A somewhere, so we have two choices for where to send A. And we have two choices for F of B. So altogether we have four choices. But we're supposed to list them. So what are the possibilities? We can send A to 0 and B to 0. We can send A to 1 and B to 0. We can send A to 0 and B to 1. And we can send A to 1 and B to 1. So these are our four possible functions. And I guess I have probably enough colors here. I can draw them in different colors. So I've got A to 0. The black one is A to 0 and B to 1. The gold one is A to 0 and B to 0. The purple one is A to 1 and B to 1. And I think the one which mi is missing is the one where, uh, let's see, what's a nice color for it? Green, where B goes to 0 and A goes to 1. So those are the four possible functions. So only one quarter of the relations are actually functions. Okay, that's the first problem to look at. The next one asks, 
Give a relation, an example of a relation on this set A, B, C, D, E to D, E that is not a function. Well, there are lots and lots of ways to do this, but um, one way to guarantee that you don't have a function is to have a, an element of the domain which is related to two different elements of the codomain. So uh, what if our relation R just consists of the elements AD and AE? Remember that a relation is an arbitrary subset of the product. It doesn't have to mention any elements. So here we've only mentioned two elements. This is clearly not a function because we have the same element of the domain, A, related to both D and E. So that gives us a very simple example of a relation which is not a function. And for our last one, uh, the question is, Suppose we look at the set of pairs consisting of x squared x for x and r, and we ask, is this a function from r to r? And this is one where I think the easiest thing to do is to, is to try to plot the subset. I mean, x, this, is, this collection of pairs, x squared x, is, is a subset of r cross r. That is to say, it's a collection of points in the Cartesian plane. And what collection of points is it? It's the collection of points where x is equal to y squared. In other words, it's a parabola drawn on its side, where for each x, um, for each y, the corresponding x is y squared. And you can see from this picture that it is not a function because you can have multiple elements in from the first coordinate, most multiple elements from the domain, giving the same value in the codomain. For instance, if x is minus 1, then you have the point 1 minus 1 in the function. But you also have the point... Um, 1, 1 in the function. Because again, x squared is, I mean, this is of the form x squared x. Here x is 1, x squared is also 1. So you have two points in the function which have the same value in the domain, but different values in the codomain. So therefore, it is not. So since 1 minus 1 is in F, and 1, 1 is in F. This is not a function. So there's a few sample problems. Uh, maybe that'll help uh, with some of the rest of the ones from this section.